Hello everyone, I am Jack the Jack of Knaves, and welcome back to Ragecraft 3. So in the previous episode, we went into this big fiery cinder temple with all the pigmen, and then we murdered all of the pigmen. It was quite brutal, actually. Um, and then we found more things, and then went to the places, and in general, stuff happened. You know, as stuff tends to do in this map. Also, I thought about it. Slash, I think I probably thought about this in the last episode, too. Which is a weird thing to say because I am actually recording this back to back. So, I had a thought in between episodes. How about that? Um, it seems kind of weird for Elysio to disable the <laughs> golden nuggets. No, I'm, I'm still going to be like caught up on this. It seems kind of weird for him to disable it because in the grand scheme of things, we still got a bunch of gold bars. I got five gold bars from the last episode just by killing all these random pigmen. So it's not like necessarily like prevented me from getting gold bars if I really wanted to I could just like go ahead and set up like a pigman gold farming farm and like it would be still perfectly valid it would be slightly slower ouch um then if I were is that light yeah whatever that is I mean it would be slightly it would be slower than like a normal gold nugget farm would be, but it still doesn't like stop the fact that I have the full capabilities of doing that. I'll throw that up for like not to stop the pigmen, but for you. Ouch. Probably just like stop this, to be honest. There we go. I was like, you know what, that's gonna spawn soon. It's gonna spawn more and I don't really want to deal with that. There's so many pigmen. So many I got an endless parade of pigmen. Whoa, that's dangerous. I don't want to go over there. In fact, I don't want to do anything. I have anything to do with these bookshelf things. So they are bad news. You know, because that's where the poison spiders always hang out. Uh, we're going to go over here instead. Now, that's actually not going to prevent anything, but it'll give me peace of mind. And truly, is that not worth making a really flimsy barricade just for a little bit of peace of mind I think that's worth it once again I have no clue what to talk about in this episode other than it is strangely hot in this room now that's not something you can relate to mind you uh, in fact that is completely random and uh, I don't even imagine that you could relate to it even if you wanted to uh, but this room is unbearably hot and it's kind of distracting. But that is okay. We will power through it. I will get through this really hot room debacle. Debacle. De debacle. Debacle. Whoa, what are you? Let me guess. You're going to spawn more pigmen. Whoa, I forgot. No, you're just weird. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. There's no rule that says you can't be weird. Uh, I just don't understand why you are you. Okay. More of this nonsense. I don't appreciate you being here. I wish you would be something else. Alright. Very good. Very good. Let's do this. Very nice. Let's get this out. Very good. Very good. And that clears out the cobwebs. Mostly. There we go. There we go. That's the way to do it. Now there's no more cobwebs. By which I mean there's still plenty. Oh, hey guys. Whoa, there's a lot of you. Ah, I did not mean to interrupt on whatever you were doing. Don't mind me. I will just... Ouch! Do that. And I will let you guys be on your merry way. This is suspicious. Very suspect. Is it not possible to name pigment? Is that a thing? Also, what did I just pick up? Monster spawner. It dropped a monster spawner. I did not know that was within the realm of possibilities. Ah, you're dead. 
We are already semi low on torches, and that does not necessarily fill me with glee. <laughs> Ouch, that is a very dramatic speed up. Much more so than I originally thought it would be. Okay. Um, that is full of holes. I don't want to deal anything with that. Uh, but we did get this emerald, so that's kind of nice. Checking this healing. Want to make sure. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Whew. Thought he was going to blow up the. Uh... You know, he's like, oh, I think your trap could have been better. <laughs> I could, I could be wrong. You know, I'm, I'm not trap expert extraordinaire. Oh, it's up there. Um. You know, I'm not, I'm not the man of traps. Um, but I'm starting to think that maybe that could have been designed a little bit differently. <laughs> Uh, now my concern at this point is that they're all gonna like fall down on top of me. Actually, we should probably put this emerald somewhere marginally safer, a location that I have no clue where it would be. We could go back and get that chest, I suppose. Um, or we could just stick it in this one. Okay. You know what? There we go. Uh, let's just do this. Why am I inventory really that? Oh. Staying antidote potions. Like, what am I gonna do with them? <laughs> Nothing. Not gonna do anything with those antidote potions. Uh, what else do I not need? Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Go pick up that. I guess I could keep that. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and place this in the place that we would remember the things. Alright. Doop -a -doop -a -doo, doing exciting things on camera. Super interesting things for you to see. Bum ba dum ba dum bum bum ba bum. You are all so interested in what I'm doing because this is really cool. I don't want this. Okay. <clears throat> Did you like that little musical break? Uh, I was pretty proud of it. I will say. It was pretty exciting. You know? Something definitely worth getting excited about, I think. Um, you know, mo in modern times, there's there's not a whole ton of things you can get excited about. Uh, reasonably, at least. Um, but I think small musical breaks are definitely still something that you can get behind in this day and age. Okay. That's dangerous, heal. Let's break that. Uh, let's continue back here so we can continue to do the things that make us safe. Okay, I want to get the, uh, wow, I never actually hit anyone with that bow before. That is a lot of knockback. Let's get this out so we can do that thing. Except that didn't work, I don't think. Nope. Close, but not quite. Did I get it? No. Alright. How about that? There we go. Now we just need to come over here. And there we go. Whew. It's a lot more effort than I kind of intended for that to be. Thinking back, we probably could have been just fine if we uh just used the sword. I don't want to use up the sword's durability, though. That's the only thing. So this is a real nice sword. It's like super nice. Hey, guys. Here, how about that? Ouch. Rude. There we go. Oh, hey. Very convenient. I don't know. I feel like... Oh, hey. Now, I don't want to, like, kind of toot my own horn here. Or kind of, you know, maybe, like, get a little ahead of myself. But this area is not very difficult. I mean, maybe I'm just in, like, such a good position. Whoa, okay. It's a good thing my intuition kicked in. Otherwise, that could have led to the badness. Um. Yeah, I don't want to be like all like. Ooh, hoo -boo 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 -boo. Hmm. Um. But yeah, this area is not super tough. What's this? The inner core of the temple. 
Mm, pass. I mean, I guess we could. I kind of don't want it, though. To be perfectly fair. It's kind of like a thanks but no thanks sort of deal. Plus, we have, like, to consider that there's still, like, a ton of other, like... Murder, murder, murder. Hmm, don't care. Double check? Okay. It's like we, we could. We have full ability to do so, but ugh, there's like a ton of other stuff to explore. And like, I don't know, it's lava, so you don't know. And like, we could just jump down there. It could be awful. Ah! That ah, wasn't so bad. You know, in the grand scheme of things, I think we made the right decision here. Whoa, the poison. All right, well, we made our bed, now we have to lie in it. Or we don't, technically. Uh, there's no rule that says you have to lie in any bed. Well, this is, this is not really what I was expecting, <laughs> to be absolutely honest. Uh, I I don't know. Well, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but a giant place is pretty low on that list, if I do say so myself. Let's see. Dig down. I'm so glad you specify. Hello. Oh, hey, we're like right here. Oh, that's exciting. I feel like we made good decisions today. All right, let's finish this off because I like doing things on camera for you. In case you were ever curious about my letter building technique, uh, there you go. Let's do it like that. Let's make it too wide. There we go. That's uh, it's looking. And then let's let's put a couple happy trees over here. You know, there are there are no mistakes when it comes to building a ladder. Only happy accidents. Okay. Um, what do we do now? Well, we still have time. We still have plenty of time. So let's continue exploring this main atrium, because that is now what this is called. It's an atrium. It's probably not an atrium. I don't even know what to consider this place. An atrium, probably. Murder, murder, murder. Murder, 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 murder. <laughs> you can go over there. Ouch! My face. And that hurt my feelings. <laughs> Alright. Hey, stop it. All joking aside, you should knock it off. Um, let's make these no longer a thing. Feeling better. Uh, what else can we make not a thing anymore? We can make this not a thing. Ouch. There we go. Um, I think that clears out these bookshelves. Ah. These bookcases. It sounds like a ton of pigment are just spawning in walls. Whoa, okay. Hello. Hi, welcome. How are you today? Are you fine? I'm fine. And I hope you are fine too. What are the odds that this is also trapped? Low, apparently. Yay, we did it. We did the thing. This makes three emeralds, right? Three of six? It's not bad. We're making pretty good progress. Pretty pleased with what we are doing today. Overall, I would say that so far this is a pretty successful episode, regardless of what happens in the next 10 minutes, 5 minutes, however many minutes. I don't keep track. I'm keeping track. Um, I can say we were successful today because we found the big scary temple thing. And we faced our fears and jumped down into that lava with reckless abandon. Which is the best kind of abandon to have if you are an adventurer. Um, the more reckless your abandon could be, the better. I I probably need those books at some point, but I don't really don't really super cur right now. Okay, uh, let's go up here. Considering this looks like the topmost level most of this area most, I would like to know about it. Hey, that's dangerous. You should should be more careful with your architecture. Should not. That's fine. 
should be more considerate when building things. What are you? This looks very suspect. Dragon scale boots. Ah, okay. We're good. Ah, okay. Um, made of authentic, high quality dragon scales. It is. All right. Well, this this chest tra obviously isn't trapped. So, protection, fire protection, thorns constantly deals damage to all mobs around you, and it's unbreakable. Hmm. Glacio, you're making a very, very good case for taking off the paladin armor. But considering the amount of absolute fire there is in this area, uh, the paladin armor stays on. In fact, I can kind of see the paladin armor staying on for a while, just because of all traps you can make. Unless you start throwing void traps at me, uh, fire traps are the thing that I am most scared of all the time. Oh, you were dead. Including you! Okay, uh, let's go down here. Which has undoubtedly spawned a horrid amount of pigment. Horrid. Awful. Look at how awful this is. And look at how we sweep through them. Like a scythe through wheat. Like a hot knife through butter. You are butter, and I am the knife. Do killing pigment or attacking pigment spawn more pigment? Because I'm pretty sure that that is not a thing. It definitely feels like it at this point. Man, this frenzy plus this great sword is leads to some ridiculous combos. Okay, um, I think it would be in our best interest to kill all other spawners before we try tackling that one in the middle, because it would be. Just my luck if we were to try to tackle a spawner and then get flung very dangerously into like nothing. I don't I don't know what to think about this. Other than we kinda of put ourselves in a bad place. Actually not really, we can just fling you guys down there. Eh, it's very dramatic. What are you guys liking that lava? Is lava good? Is it treating you well? Where are you guys coming from, actually? That's a question I want to know. Okay, there are currently so many of you that I am now concerned. Is there stairs? There's stairs. There we go, feeling better. Ouch. I think it's just pure damage. That's interesting. Oh, so it's like a hurt potion, but it's also a... I get it. Alright. It's like a speed and strength potion stacked on top of a potion of harming and a potion of poison. So I don't get hurt. Or I get hurt if I get splashed by it. Um, but the pigmen will not, because they're undead, and so they can't be harmed by it. It's actually really clever. Good job, Halicio. I appreciate your clever. I don't appreciate this. Ah, okay one block we can use for the uh, upgrading our haste back because we have not done that in a while um, it would be kind of a good idea at this point to do it don't really need all this steak <laughs> to be perfectly honest at this point yeah at the home base I'm just slowly building up piles of steak and thankfully stuff doesn't rot in Minecraft otherwise we would be in for a badness it's very suspicious. I don't like it. I don't care for these suspiciously generous whatevers. What are you? Nothing. Eh, you just looked weird. <laughs> I, I fully expected that to be maybe like a crypt or something. Like a, like a tomb. There we go. Like we could open it up and then it would be like a thing that we could loot. Because among our varied professions, um, grave robbing is on there. Okay, let's just do the sweep. Let's just go around and murder the things. Pigman, very included in the murderizing. 
feeling the urge to sneeze. But I am repressing that urge. Because you don't deserve that. You don't deserve a sneeze in your face. Regardless of what you've done. Regardless of how many not comments you've made. You know who you are. You know all those comments you could have made. That would have filled the comment section. If you know who you are, leave a comment in the comment section below. <laughs> Alright. Feeling decent. Feeling good. Putting up the barrier. Because I want to actually look around this. Oh, okay. Let's put the barrier up here too. I guess. Even though it looks like that won't really stop anyone. There we go. Overly intricate barrier for the Pikmin. Alright. Um, you go away, and you go away. Great. And there's my last torch. That is okie dokie. Arcane Bomb. Uh, that's the one where it's like actual TNT, isn't it? Nope. Don't want to know about it. I do want to know about this, though. Gimme. Great. I will, I'll take a look. I will, I will grace it with my presence. Nope, we are not blowing up stuff. <laughs> the frost trap is the best trap. There is no trap better than the frost trap. Because the frost trap doesn't randomly explode. Uh, that is a very good, not good trap. It's one that explodes constantly. It is super dangerous. And I don't want to have that in my life. Yeah, see? So it's poison. So, they are also getting poisoned by it. Also, here's our fourth emerald. This area is taking a lot less time than the previous two areas, I will tell you that. How many two episodes? Mm, I don't know. What do you think? I'm not entirely sure how long an area is on average, or how long it takes to get a section done. Um, but I know it will take longer than this episode, because we just reached the end of it. That is correct. We are going to go stand somewhere better. Okay. We're gonna go stand somewhere better. In a second. There we go. We gotta currently fight our way to the end of the episode, considering how this area is just pigman haven. I will say though that this is I'm enjoying this pigman level way more than I am the uh Pigman Mushroom Mania level from Ragecraft 2. I was not a fan of that area. That was that was the rage quit but not really area of Ragecraft 2 for me. Cause it was it was a little frustrating because you would lose all your stuff. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Back on topic is the end of this episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And as always, stay tuned for more.